Hey guys, uh, what's up? Iron Dragon SC here. I realized since I had uh, put it off so long, uh, someone else, uh, quite a big name in the RC world, has got and already put up a picture for his Beast 6x6. So I'm a little behind on that. Um, this will be my first video put up about this, and I probably will get this done by the end of the weekend. Oh god. This is a Low-C-10, this is not mine, it's one of my co-workers that I'm trying to fix for him. Amazing truck. Uh, yeah, as soon as I give it back to him, about a month later, I'm going to offer him some money for it. Because I kind of want it. Anyway, um, this high person in the RC world, DJ Medic, is... Well, he's... he's Got a lot of film hours with the beast. Um, I've had mostly just mechanical hours, um, studying the mechanics of it, trying to understand it, the truck itself, get a feel for it. And one second, let me write something down real quick. All right, sorry for that interruption. I just um, trying to machine a part for this or. For the truck itself, and I forgot to compensate for the upper four link mount for it, which decent part. Aluminum made. However, these screws back out way too easily, so I need to get some thread lock in there. Speaking of thread lock, <coughs> mm. speaking of that, I have four yes, four orders of RC parts coming coming this way. One is a throttle connector for the tin because I accidentally broke the throttle connector. So that kind of made me unhappy when I broke it. Used it myself because I was like, crap, I let this happen. Now I got to pay to fix this truck. And all it was was this motor mount was loose and it got inside the planetary for the starter and it shut the whole truck down. Um, the beast, as you can see back there, is pretty much entirely disassembled, rear axle's taken off, I've got it sitting in front of me. Um, middle axle's still on, middle tires are off, only the front axle's on. Um, let me swatch out, swatch out, switch out positions and get you in for a closer look. Alright, so what I have going on now is pure, pure um, stupidity, if you want to call it that. I'm calling it ingenuity, but if you want to call it stupidity, I'm fine with it. A um, couple of tasks of business I'm trying to take care of first. First thing I did was I machined almost an identical replica to the front servo mount out of uh, a nylon material. It is almost an exact copy except it does not have the 45 degree chamfered edges on the front of it and even still if you look even closer on the front servo mount I switched it around so the 45's are facing rearward that was to make it easier to mount a bumper on here. Um, probably going to machine an aluminum bumper to go on there. Some more of a basic bull bar than a tube bumper. Something heavy duty looking for this truck. Still working on a body. Got a couple options laid out. Um, part I'm drawing up is going to be probably a stupid camera. A I'm not going to spoil the surprise now. Never mind. I'm probably going to make it a gift for said highly spoken of remote control person. Um, that low C10 back there is one bad truck. Have not driven it yet, but fired up the motor to test it out. And she's pretty mean, so if I can get that truck, that'll be good. Um, both rustlers back there are down. Uh, snap drive shaft on one, transmission work needs to be done on the other. I'm gonna probably gonna convert it over to a clutched, the newer clutched transmission, which is gonna need a new input shaft, new everything. Um, but with the front of the beast, when I switched the uh, crap, when I switched the motor or the transmission, the steering servo played around the. Servo arm switched sides on the chassis, so I just needed to move 
steering arm from this side to that side. Easy. Done. And that's what I was talking about when I said the upper link mounts back off easily. That's just the upper link mount wobbling around in there. And no, I own no thread lock at the moment. At least parts on everything else. Um, and one of the orders is a replacement screw kit for the Humvee wheels. Um, two, the last two Viking fair leads that they ever sold, the roller fair leads. I like rollers better than the plain machine aluminum ones. I think they look better. Um, replacement screw kit, not a replacement screw kit for the axles, but a replacement screw that I'm missing out of each of the axles. It's an M2 by 5 millimeter? No. No, it can't be a 5 millimeter. I forget what it is, but it's a small screw that holds the tube onto the pumpkin. Banjo, whatever you want to call it. Um, had plenty of problems with stuff backing out on this truck, no matter where. Um, screws on the pumpkins have backed out. Screws holding the tubes on have backed out. I've lost one screw from each pumpkin, or off of each axle tube. Um, bottom line is before you do any hardcore running of this truck it does need to be completely disassembled and thread locked all around um, for this but for this servo mount that I machined I'm probably just going to buy a, 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 just the stock replacement for the rear because I didn't know how much time it would take to make this seeing that I only have three hours of shop time a day when I go to school which I get isn't is a pretty good time, but just when I uh, when you have to baby sh babysit all the other guys there because they don't know what they're doing, it gets kind of you get pretty low on time pretty fast. Um, all the other pieces on this truck are um, stock, if you will add. But for the rear winch, I'm probably I'm just gonna mount it right behind the rear cross member. And that'll be done. Um, that's it. Try to get the, trying to get all these up and running. It's gonna take a while, at least two months, to get them all up and running. I know I said I'd wait a while to blow some cash, but I decided heck with it. I want everything running now. So, tons of parts on the way. Just going all out to get everything running. Um, I'm gonna post this video up real quick. Uh, until then, Iron Dragon SC. See you in the next video.